Hello boys and girls, I am Flipper55 with Fat Finger Gaming and welcome to Fat Finger Gaming's continued coverage of the 2015 college football season. Today we have an interdivisional matchup between the Big Ten. You have undefeated number one Wisconsin versus Maryland who has yet to win a Big Ten game. This should be a complete whooping the only reason why we're bringing it to you is because ea simmed wisconsin a loss and of course puts him on upset alert we got to play this one out we'll see if the upset alert comes true though all right Corey clement is actually leading the nation in rushing yardage 1390 yards so far he took the lead from Derek green a couple weeks ago, and since Derrick Green had a absolute horrible game against Rutgers, um, he will definitely have the lead. All he's got to do is get about 20 yards. That's it. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Last uh, speaking of Michigan, oh god. Clement at the 40 down to the 35 yard line. So Clement already starting to starting to get his uh running downhill. So the number one teams, Fat Finger Broadcasts, are 0 and 4. Wisconsin hopes to be the first team to do it. And of all those teams, would probably be the worst team of all those uh, of those four teams. But why not? Uh, I am not a I am not a big uh, Wisconsin fan here in here in Fat Finger Gaming. Um, the real life Wisconsin, no problem about. These guys, I do have a problem with, just from the standpoint that uh, their seat, their their schedule this year. Oh my lord completely easy all they got to do the first week and I know it's hard it's it's Bama and I know it's difficult but we all know things can go your way and if things do go their way in the Cowboys classic like they did in, in, in this fat figure gaming simulation then you have a chance to easily make it to the Big Ten championship undefeated easily make it to the Big Ten Championship. Now, the whole point is, obviously, you're going to run into a Ohio State or a Michigan State. And if it was just luck that got you through Alabama, you probably would get your butt handed to you in the Big Ten Championship. But still, just just the fact that this team can continue to, to talk playoffs. Uh, playoffs? Anyways, um... Just the fact that this team can continue to talk playoffs after not really playing anybody irritates me. It irritates me just like Boise State, you know, the years they went undefeated talking about BCS and they should, they belonged and yada, yada, yada. And you know what? Maybe some of those teams did. In fact, there was a Utah team that did very well and absolutely destroyed Alabama. And I don't want to hear the fact that Alabama thought they were going to the national championship and yada, yada, whatever. Uh, that was a good Utah team. And the minute you get into the football game, you completely forget about the fact that you're supposed to be in the national championship and you just go out to win the ball game. Might have affected their preparation, but still, when you get destroyed like Utah did to Alabama, it's more than just pre preparation. But anyways, it, some of those, some of those teams, some of those Boise State teams, that Utah team, yes, they might have had enough talent to uh, to deserve and to play with the big boys in the national championship. My problem with it is you have teams that have to go up against nasty opponents, you know, week after week, or at least, you know, two out of three weeks. That's where things take their tolls. It's, it's, not, it's not only having to play a vicious opponent in week one, or, or you know, one week. Then the next week you gotta turn around even if you don't play a vicious opponent, even if you just play a physical team, a physical team that goes 500 in your conference, those guys can get you because of the team who you played before. And one of, one of my 
One of the more interesting stats was um, the year the Seahawks lost to San Francisco in the, in, in the NFC Championship. And oh my God, Clement's just going to run all over these guys. Anyways, um, hell, Derek Green torched him for almost 300 yards, so I'm assuming that's the same thing that Clement's going to do. Anyways. The Seahawks opponents a week. Now, if they had a bye week, obviously that didn't count. But the next week after playing the Seahawks, I think their opponents were some ungodly 1 in 10 or 1 in 11. It was bad. I mean, it was really, really bad. And that, and that to me just shows you just how good the Seahawks were physically. And LSU's done that before. LSU's gotten a good, um, good record in that. Oh, Clement's out for a little bit. That'll help. Nice run there. And you know what? I looked. That's too funny. I looked all over for my phone, and I just heard it go off. And I still don't know where it is. And normally when it goes off at this time while I'm on Twitch, it means I got a new follower, and I'll I apologize because I do like to give a shout out to anybody who follows, and I don't have one of those fun little bots that gives me a heads up when things like this happen. Uh, not yet. We're still running a small time operation here. Don't worry, we'll get big and fancy here sometime. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can minute, a minute I get to upgrade this hardware, I I'm I'm gonna have a lot of fun in live streaming. Devin get some animations going. Definitely be able to to flash up anybody that follows. And actually, the, the, the thing about um, now the thing about Twitch and the followers, this is going to be fun. So next week uh, on my YouTube channel, and that's just Fat Finger Gaming, space in, in between. Don't worry about the TV. Um, the reason why I'm going through all these simulations, well, one, I like doing this, and, and we're going to continue with the Dynasty afterwards. Uh, just see where everybody goes. However, the reason why I'm trying, the reason why I busted out all these games quickly, was because we are going to start using these simulations against the point spread and see how well Fat Finger Gaming does. And uh, it's gonna, I'll, I'll be releasing the video every week. It's gonna be Fat Finger guessing. Uh, it's going to be. Me versus Fat Finger versus what I'm gonna have have you do. I do have a website, but right now you can't enter in your your teams yet, and you won't be able to probably. T so it'll be more of an email thing. But uh, I'm going to have my YouTube subscribers. I'll pick a random guy out of there, and they'll play for the YouTube team. And then I'll I'll pick a guy from a Twitch follower and um. You know, we'll get picks from from a random Twitch follower, and, watch out. and so it'll be playing. every week against the point spread. We will pick on games that Fat Finger played out, and we will have Fat Finger Gaming, Wrong Flipper down. Fifty Five, me, a YouTube team, and a team Twitch. And every week, there we'll we'll see uh, who does the best uh, against the point spread. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Ah, uh, we have a, uh, that's who followed, West Anaconda. <laughs> All right. If I had the Sir Mix a lot uh, little line in there, I totally would play it for you right now. Let's 
I'm not even about to sing it, so don't worry about that. I am singing in my head, by the way. In fact, actually, I'm going through the whole Big Butt song right now in my head. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. In which any actually, it, that dude's from makes a lot. I'm gonna tell you right now. Anytime I ever saw him, I don't, you know, I don't know. He could be a complete jerk, but anytime I've ever seen him on TV, he looks like he is always having the time of his life. And I can just absolutely imagine meeting this guy in public and the dude being the same exact way. And those are the guys, those are the kind of guys that you just absolutely love being around. And at one point in time, I got, I was living in Virginia Beach at the time. At one point in time, I got the Playboy Channel for free in Virginia Beach. I'm not quite sure how I got it for free, but if any area needs the Playboy Channel, it's probably an area in which uh, heavily um, military, actually, that's sarcastic, by the way. The one thing you do not want to do is, is put any kind of, like, that TV around those guys with testosterone. I was in the Navy, so it's not... I'll just get off that right now. Anyways, um... Anyways, that dude, that dude was on Playboy TV. He hosted with a, with a, uh, with a girl. I cannot remember what the show was called. But he hosted with a girl, and I, it, I'd sit there and actually watch it. Um, and he was funny as hell. He was absolutely funny as hell. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Playboy TV had some good shows on it. It did. It had some good shows on it. I'm actually not. I, I could go into a long thing about it, but you know, I, I will. Um, I'll try to keep it as uh, family friendly as possible. I, I call it my FCC rule. Um, if you ever were to meet me in person at a bar, you would realize the FCC would never, ever, 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 ever get me anywhere, any kind of airline or airways. So I try to tone it down here. Still have a lot of fun, but I try to tone it down. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And by the way, just in case you're thinking, no, there's no way in the world I'd actually pay for Playboy TV, uh, especially not nowadays. Um, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't even pay for HBO or Showtime. Uh, that, so, you know, any premium package TV channel, I do not pay for, regardless of what you put on. I don't even, it, it, I don't have Dish, but even if I did have Dish, I would, I would be hard-pressed to uh, pay for, for the NFL season ticket. I mean, that is, that is expensive. I would love it though, but ah, man, I don't. I mean, it's like it's like two fifty or three hundred. I think actually, I think two two fifty is what you can pay when you're already when they do specials when the season's already started. I think it's like I think it's three hundred. I think it's over three hundred, which I just I can't do. I just can't do it. It's an extra, you know. I don't know. I I can't do it. Yeah, I know some people have, I mean, I know some sports fanatics that have, like, the season ticket, center ice. I, wow, that's just, that, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And no, I, I, I realize there's a game going on. I'm going to completely talk about something else because Wisconsin already up 17 nothing. Um, and you know what? That is the funniest thing about, about being... Can you imagine being an actual broadcaster? Going off on these tangents and stuff would, would just get you fired. Uh, so you have to fill every inch with some kind of talk about something about the game. So, I mean, you start digging up, like, Laverne Jacobs there. I mean, you probably, you'll, you'll probably go into your vault and find out that, you know, Jacobs went to... Road Crest Elementary School, um, just down the street from where I don't know the Secretary of State once went, or something like that. I mean, come on. 
That'd be horrible. I'd be so bored. I get fired in a heartbeat. Makes it up to about the 36. You start going into, you start digging for, for things to talk about. I'm telling you, me as a color commentator, just look at him like, really? Come on, can we can we start talking about something else? Start talking about the exorbitant fees that the NFL charges. Just throws this one away. Well, what do you do here, Kirk? It's a tough call. They got stopped on third down, but I'd be surprised if they didn't take another shot at it here on fourth and short. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and it's wide left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish. Yay! They get a chance to get on the board, and they don't. That time, they couldn't come through. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Defense. Hmm, that's interesting. Here. There's no way. Just so you know, in the Twitch chat, I put a lum, and I swear there's supposed to be L U L A L N. I can't even talk. A L U M N. I swear it's supposed to be that way. My my spelling thing flashed up and said that's not the way you spell it. So I don't know. So yeah, NC State did actually teach me how to spell. Uh, I am an engineer, so spelling isn't really high on the list of things that they taught me how to do. Or English, for that matter. I know enough English to actually write directions. Oh, that's going to be a fumble. Stavi. Brown, back deep to return. So Maryland moving up here. Missed field goal. He gets it away. And um. He gets out to about the 35 yard. Oh, and now a a a a stop. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I gotta say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Go ahead, two, three, and nine. And they got it. He just blew past the block. And for and our go blue guy. You can actually get a Michigan guy here. You actually miss the first game of this twitch was actually Michigan and Rutgers uh, this dynasty is following following Jim Harbaugh's attempt to rebuild uh, it hasn't it started off real nice but hasn't gone well lately uh, I will say for uh, our new follower our new big blue follower uh, this is all part of this is all these games are on YouTube uh, fat space finger space gaming uh, and if you search for it, you will find a whole bunch of games that we've simmed this season. We've we've played out, uh, I believe it's six Michigan games. Could be seven. Uh, and we've actually followed through. Derek Green doing a great job running the ball. And that's about all that's gone right for Michigan. But, but yeah. I think it might actually, I think that the, the simulations might actually follow what Michigan does in real life. Unfortunately, I don't think, I, I don't think they're going to lose to Rutgers, which is exactly what happened in the first week, or in the first game. There's a strike complete. Oh, Maryland gets on the board. Guts it. So they're going to try and determine exactly don't care. was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. Yeah, I can definitely go on the the um, definitely go on the YouTube channel, see uh, and uh, pick up some games. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. What do you so mean it was reversed? The call on the field really? Reversed. Defense and their you gotta give them that. Look, they're gonna screw up. They're gonna fumble. They're gonna do something stupid here, and it's still gonna be zero on the board. Oh, thank God. And he hits the PAT. A 
five play 55 yard drive and it's good for seven points. Brad how about the guys up front the offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Excellent kick. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Clemens game is about giving it to him and giving it to him and giving it to him again Kirk and he just keeps ramming it in there and he's not disappointing anybody. No not at all. I mean, the one thing okay so dude game just game said so giving it to him giving it to him giving it to him again and his game is all about just ramming it in there. And nobody's going to catch him. Bye bye. All right. So that was a quick cut it down to 10 point lead. Clement's going to have 400 yards at the end of the day. Now I completely understand how Derek Green racked up almost 300 yards against Maryland when they played earlier. Oh, those were the days. Michigan started off so nice. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So unfortunate. But then again, you know, one of the things that was funny when when you know I started this dynasty, started started um, figuring out who I wanted to follow, who was the best storyline, all that. One of the storylines, obviously, that I saw was like, all right, you know, we will do this college football simulation for 2015, but we'll look ahead and see what kind of storylines we want. One of the storylines that I wanted to see was Jim Harbaugh at Michigan and uh, you know wanted to see wanted to see how he could rebuild and then Michigan starts the way they start and I'm like oh my god I just I there is no rebuilding here now we're seeing that there really does need to be some rebuilding and that almost was picked Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're gonna have to think Which is cool, because this is what I wanted to see. I want yeah, yeah, I want to see Michigan through the years get better. Uh, right now I'm recruiting the game changer of themselves, Craig Mills, outside linebacker. Uh, Michigan still has not had that visit yet. And unfortunately, if they don't get it soon, Notre Dame is going to sign them. So that and it, they they need they need to get some big time players in there. They're going to get any better. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 48 yard line. He's at the 40. Oh, jeez. He's already over 200 yards. Oh, he's almost got 300 yards. Oh, my God. So it does look like Wisconsin will be the first number one team here in our Fat Finger broadcast to actually win. Second down, and they're going to need about three First week of the season, we had all, we had Virginia Tech beating Ohio State actually fairly handily. Later on, we had TCU at number one. Texas, who right now isn't even bowl, who who is fighting for bowl eligibility, wound up beating them. Now that TCU looked like they were going to win that game at the end. Then we had Baylor take on West Virginia. West Virginia just completely destroyed them. And then the, the last one, the last one of all the ones, the last one's the most understandable. Arkansas got out to a 10-0 lead against Auburn. And Auburn was doing very well. Um, you know, they lost they, they lost their starting quarter. They, uh, Arkansas had lost their starting quarterback the week before against Alabama. But still won the game. Then Jonathan Williams goes down. So there, I mean, there's your offense right there. And so, of all the number one losses, that one's understandable. Ohio State definitely should have beat Virginia Tech. TCU definitely should have beat Texas. Baylor definitely should have beat West Virginia. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Fly, lady. Fly, lady. 
Throws to the receiver, incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Three, three, nine, three, nine, three. Looks left, finding his tailback. And he stopped behind the line. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. Wisconsin will take a timeout. Of course, let's take a timeout. We're only up 24. Dude, we're looking to roll this thing to double zeros. And he's taken down at the 43 yard line. I can't think of the is back on the field after I think the, the worst well blowout I have seen really in my CPU versus back CPU back I think was um I, and these are all the ones that are on, on YouTube uh, I believe Oregon in the first round I, I the 2014 season uh, expanded it out to 32 teams, did a 32 team tor tournament, and um, I think Oregon beat Northern Illinois something like 70, 73 to 14, I think was the final score. In fact, if I could find my phone, I could just go to my website and look it up. But once again, I have absolutely no idea where the hell that phone went off to. defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. It's actually driving me nuts. That's all right. I'll find it. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. From the 35-yard line, it's second down. Swings it out there incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure just right as a reminder, um, is just to throw the ball into it was Mondays and Thurs Thursdays, Thursdays that I was uh, streaming. I am not going to compete with college football when it starts. So during the college football season, we will not be doing Mondays and Thursdays. We'll be doing it Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, so next week, I'll be. It'll be Monday and Wednesday. Tomorrow will be my. Last Thursday night streaming, and tomorrow has got the games that I want to watch. Um, we're going to start off with Florida State Clemson. Both teams are trailing Louisville. So Louisville will win the Atlantic Division, but it's still going to be a good game. Florida State Clemson. Uh, after that, we're going to have TCU Oklahoma State. TCU trying to catch up to Oklahoma in the Big 12 and then of course the final game the one I am most excited about is undefeated Arizona travels to LA to take on the one loss USC Trojans that is a huge game for the Pac-12 South that one I'm more that one's probably the, the, the one I'm most excited about that that one definitely coming into this week well coming into this week we had um Two really, two games that I was really, 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 really excited about. Uh, Auburn, Texas A&M, and that game lived up to the hype. Uh, it is already uploaded. It is, sorry, it's uploading tonight. So that Auburn, Texas A&M game will be on, um, well, will be on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, for anybody watching on YouTube right now, because that's where all, all my games get, o get over to YouTube. Anybody watching on YouTube right now, obviously that game has already been uploaded. Um, and then, of course, the other game is, is, is the, that Arizona-USC game. I am so looking forward to that. No matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Well, that'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback... We have not had... I mean, we had... To keep the drive going. Tonight has not been good as far as good games. You know, we started off with Rutgers just absolutely ripping Michigan a new one. And believe it or not, going into that game, I thought for sure it was going to be a blowout, but I thought for sure it was going to be Michigan ripping Rutgers a new one. Um, 
We went into Georgia, Kentucky, which was a close game, but a horribly played game. And uh, now we have this blowout here. It is what it is. I mean, one of the, one of the things that, that that you have to contend with when you put these games on uh, on Twitch is sometimes you get a absolute amazingly fun game which was definitely the texas a&m auburn game was amazingly fun it was awesome to have live of all the games that i could have put on twitch that that was it uh had a had a great twitch chat going uh, actually you know i had auburn fan and a texas a&m fan um and other guys chiming in a lot of fun and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. But now we're just watching this. A guy from Oklahoma State that transferred because there was no way he was going to start. Yeah, this, this, it, it, you know, I, I don't. That was actually real bad to say. I don't have a problem with that. I really don't have a problem with that. I know it, it sounded, it sounded. Uh, jerkish. Almost um, there. Smart, heady play by that defender. That it, it, the, the only reason why the only reason why I got that, that got that tweak in me down. was just because I was reading some things about Maryland and like you know the Maryland fan base. So you know, was defending uh, Garmin for transferring to Maryland, to talking about Russell receiver. Wilson. I'm an NC State alum, um, and it irritated me because Garmin isn't, well, first of all, is not Russell Wilson. Second of all, it doesn't even come close between what the two, what happened with the two. I mean, Russell Wilson wanted to play baseball. Coach O'Brien said, our starting quarterback needs to, needs to be here for spring ball. Russell said, Okay, I'll find somewhere else to play. Russell graduated from NC State appropriately, which, which so did Garmin. Garmin graduated from Oklahoma State appropriately. Uh, I have no problem with Russell Wilson. If Russell Wilson lived up to what I wanted him to do for NC State. I wanted him to. I wanted him to play football and do and do great. He did. Unfortunately, the coach was the one who didn't want him around. He graduated NC State. He got a degree from it. You know, he got his degree and he went on to play for Wisconsin. I don't know how in the world anybody can be mad at a kid who gets his degree and because the coach tells him not to play baseball, he transfers. People are mad at that. I don't know how. I don't care. But anyways, the twinge is just, it's just the fact that, that people were comparing, comparing Garmin to, to Russell Wilson. It just irritated me because Russell Wilson did not leave because... He was probably going to finish second on the depth chart. And he did a great job for Wisconsin. I wish they would have won that Rose Bowl. Uh, Mike Glennon, who filled in for him down at NC State, did a he did a great job. Um, unfortunately, his wide receivers couldn't catch the ball to save their lives. Uh, and it probably would have happened for Russell Wilson too. I don't I don't believe NC State. I don't. Russell Wilson wouldn't have made NC State any better. Russell Wilson is a hell of a lot better of a quarterback than um, than Mike Glennon. But I, I think the other holes that NC State had, I think we would have done. Maybe we would have won one more game. I don't. You know that probably be one of the things we would have won a conference championship. Um, so I'm so happy it worked out for Russell Wilson. I still root for him to this day. Despite the fact he's on, on the Seahawks. I don't have a problem with Seahawks. I just wish he went to a team that I like to root for. And those seasons are coming up. This is a great time to play football. Or a great time to play football. Yeah, a great time. Not for me. Get out on the football field now. I'd pull something, rip something. I don't know. Uh, but it's a great time right now for all football fans. He just drills this one. South Carolina, UNC, and, and uh, Bank of America Field is going to be kicking it off Thursday. 
can't seem to get anything going. Uh, and right now, they just have to forget. Funny the thing about Fat Finger Gaming just go out there and is to first down, South to Carolina. Now, we did not play that one out. That was an EA sim. Uh, South Carolina beat UNC, and it's about the only game that South Carolina has won so far. To make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. I don't think that's very realistic, but it is what it is. Getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. That time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Oh, good throw. Good throw. Good catch. We can still create some highlights here for Maryland. I know it's 45-7, but we can still make a little highlights. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. And he hits him hard at the 41. See, we're getting little highlights here. Maryland may even get another touchdown right here. Or not. Or they'll just throw it up in the stands. At least go for it. Come on, guys. Lost a player you got to be kidding me. Big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory. Now the problem with this is the fact that the AI does not take out their starters. So Corey Clement will be in this game, which really sucks because you can see him right there. He's got a chance of getting hurt. We have. A, one of the things that, that I am absolutely... Oh, my God. I think he's over 400 yards. I think that's 400 yards right now. No, 346. 1996. Would that have been Ron Dane? I think that's Ron Dane. It is Ron Dane. I guarantee that's Ron Dane. The record he just broke. And he's still gonna go too. I mean, they got a quarter and a half. He's gonna get. He he's almost gonna get 500 yards if this keeps up. But he needs to sit on the sidelines because that that could really really hurt Wisconsin's season from here on out. One of the most heartbreaking things was uh was was Monday night's Twitch broadcast. The first game was Arkansas and Ole Miss, and Chad Kelly has been playing beautifully for the Rebs. And I've really enjoyed it. He, he's he's my uh, he's yeah. You know, I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. I, I I grew up in Western New York, and um, I love Jim Kelly. I absolutely love that gunslinger mentality. I'm gonna fit it in here. I don't care how many interceptions I get. I'm still gonna try. And that's about the way uh, Chad Kelly's been. He's thrown 26 touchdowns, which at the time was tied for second in the nation, and threw 12. Picks, ten or twelve picks, which which the the leading, the uh, the quarterback with the most interceptions is uh, is fourteen. So so he's high on the interception range. But he is he is Ole Miss offense, and you know even in the games that they've lost, he really hasn't been the issue. And so Arkansas Ole Miss played. Chad Kelly did a beautiful job at getting a win for Ole Miss. Unfortunately, in at, towards the end of the game, now it was close, so he had to be in the game. But but towards the end of the game, he did get hurt, uh, and he is out for the season. So and that's and we do follow like all SEC West teams. Basically, we've had just about every SEC West game um, broadcast at least on YouTube. And we do do a lot of uh, do do we do do. Anyways, um, we do a lot of, of Twitch broadcasts with SEC West, so we, we got to see Chad Kelly a lot, and it's just, it it was disheartening. I, I felt like and Oklahoma State TCU. Don't worry about it. We're that's one. Of the, we're, we're playing that game uh, tomorrow. 
on Twitch, uh, YouTube, you'll actually, actually, it's, it would be already on YouTube for YouTube because I normally go um, SEC, ACC, Big 12, Big 10, so yeah, it'll be all right. Anyways, one over the season, I I hated it because that's just, that's just you know one more guy that I don't get to see um, on these uh, simulations. He's a junior, and I doubt he's going pro with uh, the stats that he brought up. So he will be back his senior year. So we'll get to see him, you know, next season. And I will be very interested to see if he continues to, to do um, exactly what he did this season. Ole Miss itself will not be as good. Uh, Laquel, uh, Laquan Treadwell will not be there. Laquan Treadwell right now is third in receiving touchdowns behind Ricky Seals Jones and I think everybody who watches Twitch and YouTube knows my love affair with the Texas A&M Aggie Ricky Seals Jones and I even add on a Drew Jr. just because I swear it that should be his name Ricky Seals Jones Drew Jr. It, that should be his name I don't know why but um, Ricky's in first with uh, touchdown receptions, uh, uh, reception yards, he's in second. Uh, Darius Lewis from SMU is in first. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. I am almost positive that SMU, that is probably their only offense that they have, is just throw to him. So Treadwell will be gone. So I don't know who Chad Kelly's going to be throwing to after that, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see next year because, unfortunately, we can't see because he's hurt. It sucks. Obviously, Jonathan Williams going down for Arkansas. That that hurts. That that basically put Arkansas dead in the water. I mean, they were 7-0, and number one. They have lost their last two without Jonathan Williams. Again with a carry. That's a great tackle at the one. Trying to think if there's any other injuries. Hopefully Clement can get through the next quarter without an injury. That's all we're looking for. Well, next quarter and 50 some odd seconds. Or 40 some odd seconds. Oh my god, he's just gonna stiff arm get his way in. You gotta be kidding me. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. Woo! This is bad. This is what a number one team is supposed to do to an unranked opponent. Uh, the, <laughs> no bones about that. Ouch! Definitely tomorrow night I'm gonna have better games on. I swear. I swear. 8:45 Eastern kickoff, by the way. But I swear they're gonna be better. Well, I don't know if they're gonna be better. They're bigger teams are gonna be playing. Better match teams are gonna be playing. Obviously, I can't stop someone going out there and throwing five interceptions and losing by 40 points, but you know. We still have another quarter to go. Ouch! <laughs> All right, what are the about seeing that this is um, less about? Actually, I think right now we're only paying attention to see if um, Clement will run for 500 yards and whether or not. I guess Wisconsin's not going to be able to roll the double zeros. So, oh, jeez. You got to be kidding me. So, what, what are we looking at? Um, 70 points, I guess. I guess we're waiting to see if Wisconsin gets 70. Which Anaconda actually did. Um, already pointed out that, that he thought that, that he was laughing about that Wisconsin might get 70. So, they might actually get 70, especially since it's fourth and five. And now Wisconsin's got to get, it's going to get the ball to start off the fourth quarter. Youch. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. Wisconsin's running away with it. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Oh, my God, they're going for it. Turn things around. 
No. <laughs> You better oh pick it up. Oh my god. Recovered by the defense. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover buck. They need to hold on to the football. Wow. I'm sure that touchdown of their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if wow. they back down the field. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. Okie dokie, folks. First down. Wisconsin looking to add to this big lead here. And now he's got room to run. Oh, down right around the 10 yard line. And for Clements, he's now the sole owner of the record for the most rushing yards in a single game. The Damian Thomason? I'm assuming that's who the TCU guy was. Incomplete. Boy, he put so much heat on that wow. ball. I don't think anybody wanted to get their hands on that. Oh, this is bad. We've got second and goal. Ball on the well, there's one thing that we can say. Clement will definitely leave Handoff on the draw. He makes it out to this the season as the number one running as a, as the uh, number one rusher this season. Has to. I don't think anybody, he is sitting right now at almost 1,800 yards. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls in Actually, he's over 1,800 he yards now. Because his receiver was and the closest guy to him, no to rush that one at Derek all. Green, has this got 1,400 yards this will just add now. Injury. So, it's up and they tack on three points. oh, that field goal, I think that means they're not making it to 80 or 70. Time to go to the little apple. Wow, Manhattan. Kansas State. Meyer has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick. That's not going to be a Twitch broadcast, but that is going to be played. So, Kansas State Baylor, don't worry about that game. At the 30, brought down at the 34. Wisconsin's defense. Yeah, neither Kansas State or Baylor has had particularly that good of a game. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job um, against the run. They've been very physical. What I love so is how relentless they run to I don't know how that one's going to go. Baylor should squash him, but I haven't seen a good Baylor game yet. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. And Kansas State, actually, Kansas State did have a good game. I think it was against Oklahoma State that they won. But other than that, they've just been absolutely horrible. Rose complete, and he's hit right away. I mean, honestly, right now, all you're looking for for Maryland is to try to keep the ball so the blowout doesn't get worse. That's all you're looking for right now. Just continue to drive to try to make sure that this blowout doesn't get any worse. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. I mean, seriously. So, uh, there we go. There we go. Keep the ball. Move it downfield. Try to stop whatever the hell is going on here. And this is sort of is sort of I've, I've been wondering about, you know, because I've been doing it Monday, Thursday. We're going to switch to Monday, Wednesday um, next week. And I've been thinking about getting another day in. But the problem with getting another day in is we might is is like this. We have three games that yeah. Got a man. Watch out here. They'll bring him down right around the two yard line. I don't know. We'll see. And he's 
taken down at the two yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up and the other thing is that, that getting actually another game, getting another night in of live streaming, I probably I will do. Um, if I was playing another game, uh, in that sooner or later I will actually get something else to do uh, besides NCAA simulations and, and dynasty. But that's a little bit, you know, that's in the future. Yes, onside kick, 62-14. That's going to be a flag. Oh no! I thought I, I thought a Maryland guy got that. Oh, they did. Onside kick, 62-14. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get And illegal touching. <laughs> Goes against Wisconsin. Sure. And he tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. Come on, Maryland. Just stop him. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 40. Gets to about the I want you to stop him, but don't cause an injury. We don't need another injury ruining anybody's season. I realize Wisconsin... I'm not too fond of them being able to coast their way into the Big Ten Championship, but still, I don't want anybody hurt. Oh, God. Come on. Stop him. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. This is obviously going to be a handoff to Clement. Oh, and he's got a hole. Ooh, there's a bigger hole than that. Thought for sure he's gone. Tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Two and eight. He's got an opening. Another big hole. Wow. From the 23 yard line. First down. He has some room. Makes it to the 14. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That'll make it second and inches. Gets out to about the 12 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Wisconsin comes to the line in complete control in this game. Yes, run out the clock. Let's get this thing going. One point. One point shy of 70. Let's get the latest now. Will Wisconsin be able to do it? Myers looks ready to kick this one off. Number four sets a return. Brown fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right this now, quarterback right now is in a rhythm. Out of his hands, he's really? Very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. I love some of the things that Herb Street says. He makes his way to about the 42. First and ten. 
and it's incomplete. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it so it's and second ten. and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. No, oh my, come on. Just keep the ball. He's hit hard. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. All right. First down. Keep the ball away from Wisconsin. Now don't score a touchdown. Don't score a touchdown. That's the problem. You got to keep get first downs just barely past the line. Keep the ball in your hands. You don't want Wisconsin scoring 70 on you. Stay in bounds. Keep the clock running. There you go. Don't score. Don't score because you're only going to kick an onside kick. Give Maryland a chance to score and get 70 points. Number 87 was the intended receiver on the play. It's do or die time right here. Fourth and goal from the Do or die time. Fourth and goal. Down 69-14. Yep. At this point in time, it's do or die. for both these teams have to take a little bit of pride in what they're doing whether you're up big or you're down you still want to go out there and play well we're late in the fourth quarter this game has been a blowout for quite some time and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights under a minute left Rose and that one's gonna hit the ground incomplete Second and ten. Ball on their own 44. That's incomplete. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. They actually got the onside kick. I actually looked away and missed. Maryland getting an onside kick. He's going to air it long. He's hit and taken oh. down. <laughs> They're going to get a couple meaningless touchdowns here. That's awesome. I would rather you just run out the clock so Wisconsin cannot get 70 points. But whatever you got to do, you got to do. very frustrated there they did everything they got to the quarterback in fact it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack but somehow he's able to throw the ball away from the three just get 42 line. seconds second bring this clock out come on man right. <laughs> no nope, they're gonna, they're still <laughs> they're gonna get another touchdown they're gonna try another onside i think i should look away that way maryland will get another onside kick i'm just assuming that's what i should do getting it 
across the goal line. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Air Force and Army square off in the battle for the Commander in Chief's trophy. And for Air Force. And this is weird. So our Twitch broadcast. It, normally we're Normally it takes a lot longer than this. We're actually gonna finish up right here at uh midnight. Clemens Day has been a memorable one. I don't think it's any surprise. Looks like they're gonna roll to a win, Kirk. Now he's demonstrated that he is I hope that's not the way it is tomorrow, because tomorrow I was telling uh, I was telling the West Coast people that yeah, if you tune in tomorrow at midnight, you should be able to at, at well, Eastern time midnight, you should be able to catch most of the game. Oh, he's gonna run for that seventy points. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. So the Badgers are so confident every time they have Oh man, see this is why I wish he would run out of the clock. Everything at stake, he's able to deliver seventy six twenty eight. And he hits the PAT. Wow. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow. The lights went out a long time ago, for one of these teams anyway. They'll be put out of their misery soon. They're going to still pass it. Hell, Wisconsin's probably going to have a chance to score 80 here. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's taken down at the 39 yard line. Oh boy, come on, keep the clock running. Come on, doesn't have to be any worse than it has to be. Don't hit the 80. Just throws this one away, even though they didn't sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there, and actually, I'm curious. I wonder if that was Clement's. I wonder if Clement hit 500 yards on that 38 yard run from their own 39 yard line. Those are two things you were wondering that was going to happen at halftime, or at the end of uh, at the end of the third quarter. Only reason why to stick around, see if uh, see if Clement actually hit 500 yards, or um, or Wisconsin hit 70. We definitely know Wisconsin hit 70. <laughs> Oh, so what this sets up with four seconds left, <laughs> this sets up Wisconsin to get the ball and Clement to run 80 yards for another touchdown. Oh, God. Actually, no, they're going to kick an onside kick. So, <laughs> ah, crud. He's taken down at the 39. Two seconds left. Can Clement run another 40 yard touchdown? Ends quietly. We don't want to see anything nasty and Wisconsin and gets 80 here. points. Wisconsin Hopefully, he doesn't shred out a knee here. Nice oh, thank God. Down. All right, let's, <laughs> let's check out this 487 yards, 13 yards shy of 500 yards. Clement's performance today, Kirk, it was just fun for you and But I he did catch, so yeah, really total yardage, he did get over 500 yards, eight touchdowns. Oh, my Lord. Country, and he did not disappoint anybody, including his teammates today. Well, one team showed up strong today. The other team, unfortunately, didn't show up at all. Wisconsin, 76. Maryland, 35. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. All right, so before we go, we will take a look at the stats here, and they are horribly cited in one favor as you would expect from a 76-35 blowout. You're on YouTube, I appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing. If you are on Twitch, this concludes our Wednesday night broadcast. Uh, I do enjoy uh, people stopping by and getting in on the Twitch chat. I'm going to be here tomorrow night, 8.45 kickoff. And then the next week is Monday and um, Wednesday next week.
8.45 kickoff. It starts as well. Um, don't have to do much pass. It did throw for two touchdowns, though. But this right there is all you need. 487 yards rushing. Eight TDs. Yikes. And he did catch, catch three balls for 23 yards. So before, I appreciate everybody who stopped by and enjoyed the Twitch chat. I will be here next week, Monday, Thursday. Y'all have fun.